All right, all right. Good morning. Uh, we got uh, Thursday. Today is Veterans Day, which is very important. Um, bond markets close, banks are closed. Um, so it's going to inhibit the volume in the market a little bit today. And in order to get a strong um, downward move, you're going to need volume. So um, looking at the SPX, um, we probably have a 60% chance that the market trades down further. Um, and I say that because we closed below the eight day EMA. And um, that would indicate that we have an additional sell off coming. Um, but because of the light volume, let's say there's a 40% chance that today's just a flat day with an inside bar. The other um, um, aspect supporting that is that we're at the top of the Keltner channel and we could consolidate along that before coming down to um, about the 600 uh, um, point range, the 4,600 points. So that's what we're looking at with um, the S&P today. Um, the futures are up a little bit right now, but it is uh, about 10 after 6. So things could change right there. Uh, so what we're going to do is go into the market with a bias, uh, a bearish bias, um, and and just kind of uh, keep our eye out for just that inside bar. So really, there probably wouldn't be a good trade until um, the break of yesterday's low. Um, but yesterday, yesterday, um, we had a really nice afternoon trade. Um, I don't know who was watching the markets and who took it, but um, the break of the low um of yesterday's low of uh, 63. And that happened um, about one o'clock, uh, 110. And um, so I took my entry there and uh, it was very nice. I traded it all the way down. I kind of hung in on it. Um, and uh, I got um, I got one off at about two, 200 a contract. I think I was uh, close to like, um, 500 a contract on my second one. And then my last piece, I got off right at this um, reversal. I put had my stop trailing this flag. Um, and I got out at the uh, 642 on the last train to the downside. So it was cool. And you know what? I really uh, took off, went for a walk, enjoyed uh, um, the, the weather during a lunch and came back. And um, it started making that move. So I figured, what the hell, I'll throw another trade on, take a shot, and boom, um, sweet trade. Um, I believe I tried the uh, breakout to the upside a couple of times in the morning, got, get, you know, got, got hurt and uh, just backed away from that. So, or actually, I think uh, th that trade was a break even. Um, so anyway, that's uh, the SPX. And again, uh, let me reiterate, um, just uh, it, it could very well be an inside bar today um, or um, the, a 60 percent chance that we continue the sell off. And we're looking for um, that uh, 4,600 uh, mark. So um, just to take a quick look at what else is going on, um, Tesla, who knows, man, who knows? I can't really tell you what it's going to do. I mean, the, the baby's up 30 points right now. Um, so basically, if you trade in that, you got to be in the moment, um, you, you know, on a low time frame chart and, and take the breakouts, the trend reversals. Um, this is the Tesla of old that I remember before last November when it hopped on the uh, S&P 500. Uh, prior to that, I mean, this baby was just a great trading stock, uh, using options and um, getting in and out, seeing lots of uh, really nice moves. I mean, you, you know, if you could capture a 30 point move, that's that's fifteen um, hundred dollars a contract, um, you, you know, at a 50 uh, delta. So really nice trading stock. But, uh, you, you know, you're just going to have to watch it and, and, and trade uh, the, the action. Um, take a look at Apple. Um, uh, it's looking a little weaker. Um, it's bouncing up today. And again, it may uh, it's going to perform like the uh, rest of the market's going to perform. You need volume to move stocks down. And um, with everything being closed, you may not get the volume. So you may end up getting an inside bar today. Um, so right now it's demonstrating. Um, what is it demonstrating? Ah, it's up 67 cents. So right now it's actually demonstrating that uh, we're looking at that inside bar. Um that may be the case, but um, it's looking a little bit weaker um, on the dailies. So I'd give that the 60-40 split that I'm giving the uh, giving the market. Um, and then if you look at Netflix, Netflix, 
um, on the daily, it's just making a lower low. And it looks like it's going to take the beating from um, um, Disney's uh, uh, um, streaming uh, trend indication that streams are slowing down. But it's next points. I mean, um, it, it's... Um, I mean, it's a superstar in, in, in the uh, sector. Um, on the 60-minute, you can see there's a bullish divergence here. So, I mean, we just got to watch it. Again, we, we may not have volume to move anything around today. But um, if you want to take a trade, um, actually breaking uh, this low would have been your entry. But um, on a conservative entry, you could wait to break that high of uh, uh, 60.30. And that high is pretty good. Actually, hold out to 60.50, but that high is pretty good. I mean, it tested twice. That made a very strong break through that. Should get a, a nice bit of movement. Let's take a quick look at FB. Do I even have it up here? Facebook. There she blows. Facebook, which I consider uh, society's arch enemy. But, um, you, you know, it's a trader nonetheless. Um, so it's in a consolidating pattern. Um, it may be an inverted head and shoulders. If that's the case, once it breaks this high, it should take off. Um, I'm not too impressed with the inverted head and shoulders. Well, yeah, you know what? Here's here's your aggressive down move. That would be um, a head. This is a shoulder. It's making a shoulder. It's got to break this neckline right here. So um, actually, the, the other thing looks like an outlier. I'd probably look at my entry at uh, 344.39 for the Facebook. And last but not least, NVIDIA. And these are the big dogs that uh, move the market, and that's why I'm, I'm kind of focusing on them to get a view. They have some action, so they're good for trading. And um, it looks like there was just a little bit of profit taking in NVIDIA because it got aggressive. Um, and... And what? I mean, that's it. A little bit of profit taken. Wouldn't worry about it. You, you, you may see it come back and close that gap down there. So you could look for uh, 266.93 mark or somewhere around there if you're looking to uh, put this thing away. So anyway, um, hit, the, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. Hit it. And join me at 930, and I will try again to stream. I think we streamed for a good hour, hour and a half yesterday, um, and maybe demonstrated one or two trades. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments, and um, you can join the chat if I'm streaming. There's also a phone number. You can give me a call, and um, we could uh, chat a little bit. Um, so um, lots of ways to talk to me. Get Let's get interactive, and, and um, we'll have some content on the uh, channel. Um, again, hit the uh, subscribe and hit the bell. This is Off Grid Trading, and that's no lie. I'm currently on the back of a sailboat watching the sun come up, and um, internet access is uh, um, a hit and miss situation. My priority is uh, water on the outside, air on the inside. Everything else is secondary. So um, everybody just remember, um, you shouldn't feel any stress when you're trading. You should be calm and cool. I recommend you do a little meditation before the market open. Get yourself at peace and good luck trading.